please listen to President Ali. As he told my reporters, yes, interacting with the press recently at the State House. How he is easily accessible to answer any questions the media has. Yes, and how he don't hide from the press. I don't, I don't hide, and let, let me tell you this. Mr. Lal knows this. If he has a question, you can send a question to me. You send a question to my office and you will get an answer. I am open to the press. I am very, very much open to the press. I am available to the press. Well, guys, 48 days has passed since my reporter sent him a message in which the auditors who worked with the Trinidad government in their oil and gas industry and saved Trinidad millions upon millions of U.S. dollars out of this called doggery the oil companies were pulling on that country is now offering their services to come to Guyana free of cost to check Exxon's inflated bills. They want no money up front. All they're asking for is a small part on whatever they recover for Guyana. How can we go wrong with an offer like that? Especially when Jagdale says he's still searching for people to audit and can't find them. Presently, guys, we are getting robbed with our eyes wide open. And here is a company who is willing to come and whatever they recover, they just want a piece to pay the few people that help so that both Guyana and them can come out winners. Guys, as it is, we are losing everything. The reporter sent that message several times back to President Ali. Did not respond. Hear this. After he didn't respond to the reporter, I myself sent and resent him that message in which he read it. And he went numb, he went dumb and silent. Guys, here you have a known gangster ExxonMobil who would snatch out a candy from a baby's mouth and replace it with a brick. A gangster that would snatch away the walking stick from the elderly. A demon that would snatch away the dog that is leading the blind in society. A devil that would even rob his own sickly mother. President Ali and Jagdil knows this. And here is a company out of Trinidad that is willing to invest their time, expertise, and money to come here in Guyana and audit the books. What Jagdil says, he can't find people to audit. And Guyana don't have to pay a cent on these people. President Ali gone silent on that. You guys see the trouble this country is in? If we don't stop these people with what they're doing, then make up your mind to send your grandchildren and great-grandchildren to school for a lifetime to come or generations to come with empty lunch kits. This is a message from Glenn Lal. Please share it.